A U.S. court dismisses case versus Mt. Gox Mizuho Bank for lack of jurisdiction. Next on your 4 Minute Crypto Daily News. Hello and welcome to 4 Minute Crypto. Now today's show is from a post by Comfy Manilo at CryptoVest.com and is brought to you by BitBlockBoom. Take a look at the Bitcoin Maximus Conference coming to Dallas, Texas in 2019 at BitBlockBoom.com. And before I start, I want to remind you to like, subscribe and share. Now, a U.S. court dismissed the charges against the Mt. Gox Exchange and Mizuho Bank of Japan for lack of jurisdiction. The Pennsylvania District Court granted the motion made by Mizuho Bank to junk the case filed by Gregory Pierce, who was just one of the 24,000 users that lost money when Mt. Gox collapsed in 2014. The decision also dismissed the charges against Mt. Gox CEO Mark Karpolis. Mt. Gox was one of the earliest established cryptocurrency exchanges and closed shop after it fell victim to a massive cyber attack which resulted in the loss of an estimated 850,000 Bitcoin which were valued at $450 million at the time of the attack. With today's Bitcoin prices just over 6,000, those 850,000 Bitcoin are now worth 5,334,164,000 US dollars. Last ma month, Mt. Gox Civil Rehabilitation Trustee Nobuku Kabashashi, which I know I said wrong, but he said creditors of the closed crypto exchange platform who still have their login credentials could file their rehabilitation claims online. The trustee also said the online application system is now available and creditors can submit their claims whether they provided any proof during the early stages of the bankruptcy or not. Now, did you ever have any Bitcoin at Mt. Gox? Did you, did you lose any Bitcoin at Mt. Gox? That was before my time, so I didn't. But let me know on Twitter where I'm at Gary Leland if you did. And don't forget to join me every weekday for a new episode of 4 Minute Crypto. This is a CryptoCousins.com production.